five. Hi everybody, my name is Chris Bobko and I am a rhino keeper here at Denver Zoo, Toyota Elephant Passage. We are actually coming to you from the rhino and taper barn behind the scenes. And behind me you can see our precious, precious new girl um, and her mom Tenzing. They actually had a pretty busy morning. <laughs> they were actually outside uh, with access to our tapered stud pen and uh, we saw some interesting hormonal changes. Tenzing actually started uh, what we believe is a very short uh, pseudo or pre-estrus behavior which entails her actually blowing and then um, our male Bandu who was outside in the big yard he actually uh, started showing some um, very good indicators that he's becoming a very big boy <laughs> and uh, he got really excited and would not leave the door so baby had a lot of time to actually be outside running and romping and trying to keep up with Tenzing um, as she had this little hormonal surge. So right now what you're seeing is nappy time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we scheduled these at two to hopefully be after nap time, but this is just the nature of animals that is. and live video. So everyone who's watching, thank you so much, everyone for tuning in. If you wanna to donate to help us care for our animals while we are closed, you can do so by clicking the link in the comments or clicking the donate button on this Facebook Live. If you want more resources and past videos we've been doing, you can go to denverzoo.org slash zoo to you uh, for all of our zoo to you virtual safari resources. She says I'm talking too loud for her nap. <laughs> She's hanging in there. There's our baby girl and also, we're still doing our naming contest. We still are doing our naming contest. So I'm gonna put my plug in mm -hmm. for my favorite name. So I am gonna have everybody go and donate uh, to the naming contest. And let's go Team Juna. Team Juna. Well, Juna is actually in the lead right now. Yes. So the three options for the names, and yes, we have already picked names. That's right. <laughs> we have pre-selected three names, Juna, Tali and Pemba. Right now, Juna is in the lead, Pemba is in second, and Tali is in third. So if you have those names, you can go to our website, and on the support tab, you'll find the Rhino Calf Naming, and you can donate $1 for one vote to name this little gal. Everyone wants yes. to know what her name is and when she's getting a name, and we just want to raise as much money as we can for her care and Rhinos in the Wild. That's right. And we are really excited to open this up to the public. So tell me about kind of the personal victory it was for you, Chris, when we welcomed this baby rhino. So for me, honestly, I, I've actually worked here at Denver Zoo for 30 years. I celebrated my 30th year anniversary on February 16th. And then literally on February 22nd, I was given the greatest gift you could actually ask for, which was this precious baby rhino. Um, it has been literally a 27 year journey for me personally, since our last uh, special baby rhino, which was a black rhino, Mishindi. Um, so we are absolutely overjoyed um, on this team. Uh, I think for what, uh, what's going on in the world, I hope she brings you a ray of sunshine. Um, she definitely is our bright spot right now with everything that's going on. Um, and what we kind of wanted to try and do today, uh, when she wasn't sleeping, uh, was to actually start to get into teaching everybody um, what are some of the most important things we do as keepers here, especially when we have a tiny little calf on the ground. And our relationships are really crucial to what we are able to get done with our, our animals here at the Denver Zoo. And it's all done with positive reinforcement. And yes, we do start from the very moment, even as, as tiny as this little girl is, we are already starting to work on that um, trust and that relationship. And we do that in several ways. Uh, we let the cat approach us. Uh, right now, she can still fit through these bollards in the middle of the stall. So that she actually will choose to come over and be with us and that gives us a really good opportunity to do things like get a weight on her um, 
our most recent weight was on Sunday. And can anybody guess how much she weighs now? Yeah, put your guesses for how much baby rhino weighs in the comments. We'll answer it in a few minutes. Yep. And then um, that's all uh, with her coming over to us and walking on the scale. My trick is using a tiny bit of mashed banana. So uh, baby's starting to get in some of her teeth. She's already getting in two of her lower incisors. So just like humans, uh, when babies start to get their teeth in, they get a little cranky, they're tired. Sometimes they have diarrhea. Um, and we've seen all of that. Um, and that is absolutely natural when a young um, animal is starting to get those teeth in. So you need to find stuff that will actually get their little taste buds going. And I tell you, mashed banana, it's the trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some days she likes applesauce. Um, other days she likes tiny little um, ground up bits of pear. Uh, also she loves sucking on lettuce leaves. So that's actually how we get some probiotic supplements into her. And she just, we just smear that on the lettuce leaf and she just sucks the supplements right off. That's so great. Um, those are all kind of little tricks of the trade. Mm -hmm. And like I said, getting this relationship started at such an early age, it allows us to form a really strong bond of trust. And why do we need that? Well, we have several things that we need to get accomplished. We need to get blood on these guys on a regular basis. And anybody that has had either blood taken or a vaccination, nobody enjoys that. So it's pretty incredible when we actually can train such a large animal. Tenzing is well over 4,000 pounds to actually line up and stand there in place and just allow us to get that blood. So that's what we're starting even at such a young age with this tiny little girl. Um, also vaccinations. Uh, baby does have vaccinations coming up. Um, some of the vaccinations that we give are West Nile, tetanus, and rabies. So it's all to protect these guys and keep them healthy and safe. If you are just joining us, this is baby over here. She's taken a nap. She had a pretty rambunctious afternoon with mom. So they're both resting right now. Uh, Chris might go in a little later on the other side of that wall and give some pets to Tinsing and yep. baby. And what is the purpose of that besides just filling your heart with joy? <laughs> so the purpose is we want to continue to maintain our really good relationship with Tinsing. Uh, she's a fantastic rhino and uh, with that positive relationship that we have with her, we were able to do ultrasounds throughout her entire pregnancy, um, which was her choice, and it really helped us gather data on how that pregnancy was developing, how baby was doing. Why it's so important with baby now is uh, we, we need to develop that trust and that bond that will allow us to really give her the very, very best care. Of course, I'm not going to tell you it's not super cool <laughs> and amazing to be in and have that baby come up to you and be able to to rub her down and have her flop on the ground and you get to rub her belly um but pretty soon she is going to be getting uh, too big to do that and uh so she won't be coming in with us and we'll be doing all of our stuff through protected contact and just like we do mom but I have to say, we definitely are taking advantage of this time now. It's incredibly, incredibly special. Too. As you should. So we have a lot of guesses for weights. Most are fall between 150 and 250. We have a guess of 700 pounds. Okay. So I know one of the recent weights, but I don't know about this Sunday weight. Why don't you tell us how much our baby rhino weighs as of Sunday? As of Sunday, our baby rhino weighs 200 and. 0.1 pounds. All right. So any of you who guessed 200 or above, you're right on the money there. We're yep. doing prices, right rules. 
I just decided that. <laughs> so you can take, claim your prize right in the comments of validation and satisfaction. Yes. So uh, if you're just joining us, we are running a naming contest for this little girl. We have three names picked out, Tali, Juna, and Pemba. And Chris, you are squarely Team Juna. I am squarely Team Juna. Um, Juna actually means treasure or gift. And um, honestly, she absolutely is a treasure in our hearts. I think she's a treasure to this community. Um, and she has brought us so much joy. And I'm hoping she's bringing you a spot of joy as well. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to all our beloved staff members who cannot be here right now with us at the zoo. Um, our amazing membership who can't come and join us right now. And our incredible guests that actually make Denver Zoo the incredible place. And we miss you. We definitely do. This is definitely not easy. We love taking care of these animals but a big part of our job is interacting with guests and getting to show them what we do here every day so we're glad to be able to bring this zoo to you virtual safari opportunity hi chrisanna you can vote for a name you can go to denver zoo's website on the support tab and click the rhino calf naming and vote uh, with a donation for one of those three names so we have some questions coming in awesome. um do baby pachyderms chew on anything else or is it just food that helps them with their teething so that's a great question, and actually, uh, baby pachyderms uh, absolutely chew on other things. This this particular little baby pachyderm is uh, actually chewing. We have a little small log that we have hung up in there, and I smear mashed bananas on it. And because she's teething, she's starting to gnaw on that. Um, it's pretty precious. Mm -hmm. um, she'll actually pick up uh, little pieces of brows now too, and start to, to mouth those as well. So anything that she can get her mouth on, including these, uh, we call them the D-rings that are on the bollards, the metal bollards, uh, she's mounting those as well. Absolutely. Someone says, how much is she eating in a day? Oh gosh. So she's nursing uh, probably during the day at least five times. Uh, at night, it's probably as many. Um, her nursing is not as... Um, long as it has it used to be when she was super super tiny she can really get the job accomplished in about five minutes <laughs> and we think she's probably getting anywhere from two to three pounds a day mama's milk is really 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 uh, packed with protein and fat and just the perfect thing for a growing baby rhino hi melanie our baby rhino is just over a month old she was one month on march 22nd that's right all right, so do you want to go in there and I do. do some pets so in here? And Keeper Mike is going to join me here just to answer any more questions. But you're going to see Chris go in. She's on the other side of protected contact from tensing. Baby is small enough to get between those bollards, but not tensing. So Chris is perfectly safe right now. She's given tensing some nose rubs. We always get questions about the horn. Um, that is not filed. It's not shorn down or anything. That is simply from tensing rubbing it on surfaces that is the shape and the length that it is so there's chris giving baby some love mike is that your favorite part of the day when you get to give baby and mama <laughs> yeah pets? of course <laughs> we uh you know we <clears throat> we do this kind of thing when we're in there anyways when we're cleaning we clean the stalls twice a day um so yeah morning and afternoon that's definitely the the best part to look forward to so for those of you asking how big she's going to get you can just take a look at Tenzing. <clears throat> that is a full grown rhino. So that is her baby. That is what she will grow up. That is her grown up size. And there goes Tenzing laying down again. They are tired this afternoon. It is a gorgeous day out there. So if you wanna vote for the rhino name, we'd really appreciate those donations, especially at this time. You can support by voting $1 for one vote for Juna, Tali, or Pemba. That money goes to support rhinos here and in the wild okay um let's see so we may have to go in there mike might take this camera for you again um kaylin wants to know when will the baby's horn come in so the baby's horn um we'll probably have to wait a couple months you can start to see already the part sorry guys i forgot i was carrying the camera so you can uh see the part on her head Chris, I'm going to get in close. Okay. Start to see the part on her head that uh, that it's developing on. But um, yeah, probably 
probably a couple of months for that. Let me zoom out a little. Oh. That's gonna have to be something Carly does. Apparently I don't have to know how to zoom out. But here's Tensing and her calf. She's real tired. All right, we're gonna zoom out here. This is really quick. today <laughs> so we are just peeking in on her little nap time so you can see Chris stuck her hand out there and tensing kind of came close that it represents that bond we have with our animals that we can ask them and they will come completely voluntarily but we're also going to reward her with some food and some treats right now so, someone wants to know how much tensing eats in a day Ten or how much tensing is protective of baby. <laughs> Whichever one you want to take first. Let's go, how much does tensing eat in a day? Tensing eats, um, oh, there she goes, sticking her <laughs> head uh, Tensing eats about 50 pounds of hay a day and then she gets a lot of, um, she gets, I don't know, about five, six pounds of grain or, or rhino pellet, which is kind of like a, a rhino dog food. Rhino, rhino food. Um, and then she gets a lot of produce too. Tensing gets, um, she gets a lot of root vegetables. Those are some of her favorites like carrots and um, beets and sweet potatoes. And she also gets, well there, Chris has her food right there. And she also gets uh, apples and bananas and things like that too. And lettuce, of course. She gets a, a whole lot of lettuce. So mom can't come into this stall where Chris is standing with the baby, but is mom protective? Is she, is she agitated or nervous when baby comes in here alone? No, she is actually getting really used to us working with the baby. And uh, she, again, because of that bond, she knows we're not going to hurt the cow. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, we are taking full advantage of this time. And she's working with the baby. You're making people very jealous right now, Chris. <laughs> Everyone wants to be you right now. Well, it is the world's best job, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> so if you're wondering why does this baby not have a name yet, we um, are opening that up to a vote. We chose three names. Sure. So we might turn on the sprinkler here. Um, if you saw our video from earlier today, you know that the baby loves to wallow around the sprinkler. <laughs> All right. So she's just kind of sucking on that piece of lettuce. Here's the baby. We'll see if she wants to come in for a little sprinkle. Oh. So, hi, Jessica. Dad is from another zoo. We uh, did artificial insemination on Tenzing with a male greater one horn rhino sperm from Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. There you go. There you go. Thank you to everyone who's been donating so far. We really appreciate it. This time Denver Zoo is a nonprofit, so we rely heavily on donations when we cannot take uh, any guests or make any revenue. So we really appreciate that. So baby is enjoying a little Play and sprinkler. If you have kids who love the sprinkler, I'm sure this is no surprise about how much they're enjoying it. <laughs> so, Juna means treasure. Uh, what do the other names mean, Chris? People are curious. So, Tali means youthful, and Pemba was the very first Nepalese Sherpa woman who actually scaled Everest. Very cool. And this is our first greater one-horned rhino baby we've ever had here at Denver Zoo. First baby, first baby in the rhino family of Toyota Elephant Passage. 
So you can see uh, baby's actually urinating right now. <laughs> So um, she always does this when she gets wet, so it's a really great opportunity for us to see if she's hydrated, which she is very hydrated. And baby really loves the water, so this is the most water-loving of the five species of rhino. And she'll actually uh, start to wallow, like lay down and go over side to side. Um, this is one of her favorite, favorite things. <laughs> Last time we showed you a fire hydrant sprinkler, now we have a, a flower one. <laughs> yes, uh, our other team member, Caitlin, got this adorable little sprinkler. She is so cute. So someone says, what when her ears kind of go back and forth and kind of flicking. look twitchy, like flicking like that? Well, she's getting water hit, <laughs> hit into her ear, so she's just flicking it away. Also, these guys, um, their, their sense of hearing is very, very good. So they're kind of like little radars and they're always moving those to actually kind of see what's going on in their environment. Chris, I think you can speak to this. People want to know, is the baby soft? What's her skin feel like? So right now she's super soft. Um, so tensing, when you pet tensing, she almost feels like you're petting a tire. <laughs> um, but she has super soft spots in her neck folds and between um, under her legs. But this precious thing is soft all over. <laughs> soft all over. Elizabeth's daughter wants to know if rhinos have good hearing and good eyesight. Uh, awesome question. So eyesight is probably the worst of their senses. Uh, number one is sense of smell and then comes hearing. So therefore those big radar ears. Yeah. Yeah, their, ear, their, their eyes are kind of small. Doesn't yes. look like they have the, the best eyesight but they definitely can see. So does she drink the water or is she more just enjoying wallowing? She's just enjoying wallowing. Hey Mike, can you give me that little half of banana? <laughs> so you can see baby's trying to eat this uh, biscuit. Can you give me that thing? Yeah, so she's eating So very cool thing, rhinos have a prehensile lip which they can use to pick up things. They can, uh, she has the best of both worlds. <laughs> yes. So how is baby's ability to kind of use that lip going? Uh, pretty good. So I'm giving her a little mashed banana and she's actually scooping it with her little lip and she's putting it into her tongue. She's very smart. <laughs> Are greater one horns known for being in, an intelligent species? Uh, well, I'm totally biased. <laughs> Yes, we have been calling her a little tank puppy in our yeah. social posts. We really need to get her a name. So keep on voting, people, for Tali, Juna, or Pemba on our website. Donate to vote. And keep donating through our Facebook posts and through our website's emergency fund. We really appreciate everyone who has donated so far. We know it's a difficult time for many, and we cannot thank you enough if you have taken the time to donate to our efforts to, you know, keep our animal care world-class throughout this closure. So here she is playing in the sprinkler. This baby is a girl. And now she's just gonna lie down. Maybe a wallow a little. <laughs> so we talked about this last time, but also greater one horns are pretty interested in climbing over they things. Are, they are, so uh, the baby has already put both of her front feet up on that back drinker. So that's where their water is. Um, Tensing was laying down the other day, and I wish I would have had my camera on me. Um, but she had both of her front feet on Tensing's neck, and she was completely extended up. So she's very interested in climbing. So one of the ways we train them is to get them over here, yep. get baby over here. So if we didn't have the sprinkler going, we might be taking her weight or that's something right. like that. Yeah. Which we could actually try and do. Yeah, we already, we know she was two, yeah. oh, 200 and point one pounds on Sunday. Yeah, so, so we can, so if you want to start putting your guesses for what she might weigh today, knowing that rhinos gain about two to three pounds a day when they're a baby. So let us know in the comments what you think her weight will be if we can get her back out here 
for another weight because she can slip between those bars. She might want to come, she might want to stay with mom, but we're going to try to see if she wants to come back over. Let's go see her and mom right now. So this is Tenzing, this is mama. She says, hello. Uh, how many naps does baby take? She sleeps a lot, doesn't she? She does. I would say one really solid one, kind of midday. And then she, you know, cat naps for 20, 30 minutes. When we started this live stream, she was kind of napping, but now we've, we've gotten her up. She's got a little bit energy left to say hello to all of her fans. We know how excited everyone was when we welcomed this baby and announced the news. So we're so happy to be able to share her with you this way while we are closed. She's very, oh, she's kind of up with mom right now, but we'll see if Chris can get her back through for a wait. Looks like she might be trying to nurse. Someone wants to know why we weigh them so frequently. We actually don't weigh them all that frequently. I think we've gotten three yeah, we, three weights. It's kind of, I would say it's opportunistic. You know, it's, uh, when, when we get the chance, we, um, it's just something good to get them used to and practice with, not just for right now, but for, you know, every, every weight from here on forward. Also, you know, when, um, just like people, one of the best ways to, one of the best ways to track a, a young animal's health is, is, how how consistently they're gaining weight and how uh, making sure that weight is appropriate given given their age absolutely and she's nursing right now <laughs> looks like she might be shivering a little bit if you want i mean i she keeps moving around so we might just kind of <laughs> try to get my weight um <laughs> may age four wants to know how rhinos poop how rhinos poop? <laughs> well, that's a great question because you know everybody poops. Um, right now, you can see a big pile of tensings poop in the back. Just for you, May, it's right back in that right corner. Right back there. <laughs> and uh, if you want to be a zookeeper, you're going to have to uh, be able to pick up, you know, each pile is probably 40 or 50 pounds. Oh. Um, so, baby actually will go back over to where her mom pooped and mm -hmm. she will actually poop on top of it. She'll poop on top of mom poop? Yeah. Mom's poop? Yeah. What is the purpose of that? Is that a just a natural instinct? So these guys are what we call specific defecators. So some animals have very particular spots in which they like to defecate and really for rhinos um, we call it a midden and the midden actually gives other rhinos all of the communication and the social media that they can use. Wow. So it tells rhinos lots of cool things. Um, are you the territorial male? Are you just passing by? Are there females that are coming into estrus and maybe I want to hook up with them? Uh, all, all that sort of different information that's really crucial to rhino um, social communication. Someone is very curious, Ruby, four years old, wants to know who drew this chalk art. <laughs> so that beautiful chalk art was done by our teammate, Rachel. <laughs> and that is actually a form of our enrichment, just like the, the really cute little pose. Um, we always try to keep on enriching these guys and their, and their environment. And the first time we drew this, maybe hadn't had a chalk drawing yet. And she went straight over there and she rubbed her face on the wall and she had blue all over her. Oh my really gosh. And the chalk is safe for the rhino. It is very safe. So I'm, I'm sorry to have teased you all. We do want, we are going to try to get the weight, but we have a lot of people guessing that uh, her last weight we knew was just over 200 pounds by like mm -hmm. point one tenth of a pound. So if we can get her weight, we still encourage you to guess at home and use those critical thinking skills. If baby can gain around two to three pounds a day, and it's been three days since we last mm -hmm. weighed her, yep. talk to your kids and your family about why, um, how much she might weigh. That's right. Kind of the math behind that. So Joe wants to know why their skin is different from other animals. They have those folds. It looks a lot tougher and thicker. So that's a great observation. So the really cool thing about greater one horn rhinos is they actually look like they're armor plated and 
it's just very thickened uh, folds of skin. And we believe this species of rhino actually got all has this design <laughs> is because this rhino species actually has two lower fissures that stick out on their lower jaw, and they actually use that to, to bite. So all of that thickened skin is actually protecting really vital areas to the rhino's body. So let me see if I can get that baby over. Okay, well, we're gonna stay with the baby and see if Chris can get her to voluntarily come over and step on the scale. This is one of the very many ways we get animals to participate in their health care. It's very important that they be willing, uh, voluntary participants. So we use positive reinforcement. She gets a little bit of mashed banana for coming over to Chris. And then we'll see if she wants to step over to the scale. Tenzing is now curious as well. <laughs> So it looks like Tenzing might either be very interested in the treats. Yeah, Tenzing, <sighs> Tenzing likes banana too is the thing, so. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Yeah, and she's so used to us feeding her. She, I think she pretty much assumes that, that, that bana all bananas in the building are for her, <laughs> but um, she's got to share them. <laughs> so we've, we're tossing us some adult Tenzing treats in here, <laughs> lettuce, with the hope that baby now will have an uninterrupted you to go in here okay so that blue thing is the scale Chris it's on the holes behind you Chris <laughs> it's on the hose all right let's see if she comes out <laughs> you may have said this already, but the calf the calf has two teeth. Two teeth. Two two little incisors on the bottom. So she's curious. Mm -hmm. She's using that prehensile lip there to kind of grab the leaves off that piece of brows. Melissa says, hello, Chris, and congratulations on the baby rhino. Um, someone wants to know why mom and baby have different skin textures. So baby actually has the same skin texture as something. Uh, she just doesn't, it's not as rough yet. Not as rough. Oh, here she comes. All right, get those final guesses in. <laughs> Tensing might give her a little nudge here. So we have 199.2, so that's only 0.8 of a pound difference yeah. from Sunday. So she hasn't gained a lot of weight since then. But 199, did anyone guess lower than 200? Here she is getting her mashed banana. She, that's her reward for just coming out and stepping on the scale and staying still, being so great. This is one of the many ways with, we do voluntary training with all of our animals as often as we can, if we can get them to participate without us having to do any other measures. That's great. So now, now she just wants to stay on the scale. <laughs> she didn't get her full nap today, so she's a little tired. What do you all think in the comments? Let us know what you think a rhino's best sense is. Is it their hearing? Is it their sight? 
Is it smell? Is it taste? Let us know what you think her strongest sense is. And we'll have Chris answer it by the end of this. Reminder, if you've donated, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We are here with the Denver Zoo Zoo virtual safari with our baby rhino update. If you missed the beginning of this, it is on our website, denverzoo.org slash zoo to you. You can go to our website, our homepage to find out more information. We have lots of resources for parents with kids who need something to do, some critical thinking questions, and all of our past videos. All right, we have a lot of guesses for ears and hearing based on some observations about the rhino. Is that their best sense? Oh, number one is smell. Hi, Danielle. Uh, our weight on the baby was 199.2. Ashley, you're right on. Smell, then hearing. So there goes baby. And I think we'll wrap up here. Thank you so much, Chris and Mike, for kind of pinch hitting on some questions there. We appreciate your guys' time. And thank you to everyone, again, who's donated. This will be on our Facebook page that you can rewatch and share. It's also on our website. Um, and we'll be back. We'll have plenty of more baby rhino updates for you all. Yeah. Take care, everybody. We send our, remember, peace, love, and rhinos. <laughs>